Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Uh, today we are going to be doing something I'm sure all of you have seen several times. My lovely friend Fiona from Fiona Art has always done these amazing flowers and she used to use a little cup and that was a lot of fun but lately she's been doing these little puddles and then dipping them with the napkin and they are so beautiful and every time I see her do one I'm like I have to try that. I have to try that. So that's what we're going to try today. The other thing we are trying out today is this Vallejo Gloss Fluid Medium, which I have never used before, but everything is mixed with this and the paint and a little bit of Floetrol today. So we're trying that out and see how that goes. This is Gloss Fluid Medium from Vallejo. Okay. Okay, so today we're using an 18 inch wood round. I believe these are birch. I got them from Amazon. Um, it's about half inch thick. Nice and smooth. I'm not putting a primer on it. I'm just gonna put my paint down and then we're gonna do our flower. So let me show you with the colors really, really quick. And these are the ones that I have put into the bottles. We'll start with some of our Amsterdam Titanium White. Now this is a little thinner because I have thinned it down to use it as a base coat. But this is Amsterdam Titanium White with some Vallejo Pro Medium in addition to the Gloss Fluid Medium. So that's Amsterdam Titanium White with the Gloss Fluid Medium and the Pearl Medium to give it a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so that's our white, and that's in one of the bottles. Next, I have Quinacridone Crimson from Golden. And to this, I have added a little bit of my 24 karat gold and just a few drops of white. So now it's this very pretty sparkly strawberry sort of color, which I'm excited about. Sorry if you can't see that dripping very well. Most of it's in here. <laughs> then we have my brilliant friend, my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay. Your other lover. <laughs> You're the only one, baby. Um, I'm also using tonight Artie's Colors in Alizarin Crimson. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, deep, luscious, beautiful color. I love that. Always makes me want to go put on lipstick. <laughs> Which my grandmother would tell me to do anyway. Uh, next we have Golden's Pyro Orange which is beautiful, very bright and cheerful and happy, and is gonna hopefully work well with all of these other colors. And last but not least, I have some Naples Yellow from Amsterdam, this big baby over here, because I like it, so I bought a big one. And you can get these thousand milliliter bottles of Amsterdam also, so be sure to look for that when you search. Don't just search under Amazon or Amsterdam acrylic, put in Amsterdam 1000 ml and you'll see all the ones that they have. So. Or one liter. Yeah, but it's listed in milliliters on the bottle, so that's what they listed in, in the stores. They also come in 500 milliliter bottles, which are the smaller ones. So, that's our Naples yellow. So, first thing we're going to do is put down our white base coat. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to tilt this out. Hope it's not too thick, hope it's not too thin. I put a little bit more on there. surface and I already got paint on my jacket. I was hoping to keep one clean <laughs> to look professional, but I guess it's not meant to be. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the sides real quick to cover up that raw wood. Okay, that's good. Just take a little tiny cup here. I'm going to scrape this paint back into my little cup so that we don't have a big puddle here. Okay. So my table is clean and doesn't have a lot of other colors on it. 
So I technically could use that paint again, and I might if I need it. But I'm keeping it separate from the rest of the clean paint for the moment. I paint all over everything, didn't I? This is when you're supposed to say, can't take you anywhere nice. Can't take you no place nice. <laughs> okay. Maybe, all change, right. maybe change your gloves. No, it's alright, because we're going to start now. Okay, so let's take give these a good shake. Take the lids off. That'd be smart. And put the lids in a little cup so I don't lose them. We mixed these paints up about an hour ago. And they have been sitting for since then. That's the 24. This is my pearl white. My Amsterdam white with the Vallejo Pearl Medium in it. Okay. So Fiona usually starts with white. I got my elbow in there too. Awesome. She usually starts with the pearl white, but I'm not going to. I want to start with that uh, beautiful alizarin crimson. So now I'm not, I haven't done this before, so bear with me, we're gonna try. <laughs> as far as I could tell, she starts with four puddles. And then bisects that angle. started a little bit bigger but that's okay all right so that's our first one this might be smaller than I thought because I think I do want it bigger I'm gonna go around it I may have already screwed this up by doing this but we'll see you never know unless you try it Isn't that a Fiona-ism? It is a Fiona-ism. She's a very smart lady. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. All right, now we're going to come in with some of the white. And so this is literally a puddle towards the center. strawberry color that started out as quinacridone crimson.
of the Zarin Crimson. We'll see what <laughs> the pyro orange again. perfectly on the puddles now I'm kind of making a circle because I'm scared of the napkin, but all right. Okay, that's cool. So now we're gonna take a skewer and we're gonna wreck this from the center out. I'm gonna skip every other one and I go the other direction for the ones that I'm skipping.
Okay, now we're going to do our famous Fiona flower dip, or finger dip. Fix the center and take out some of that extra paint. Just dip your finger in there and pull some paint up. Not only will it fix the composition, but it will also remove a little bit of your extra paint. Okay, what do you think, HOA? Bitchin'. Reminds me of Thanksgiving turkey tail. <laughs> it's very Pennsylvania Dutch. You've said that before. Have I? I don't know if it was this color palette, but I know you've said that before. Yeah, All right. The shape. So, here's one of my Fiona napkins. One of the few that I have left that my sweet friend sent to me. And we're going to use this. Now she usually has it folded over in half so she can judge where the center is. Okay, she likes to wet it down. I don't. I find it easier to work with if it's dry. It's a little stiffer. Okay. That's what she said. Too wavy yourself. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to fold that one over that way. Fix this one just a little bit and pull it. Okay, and I'm just touching the surface to make sure that everything is in contact with the napkin. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm stalling. It's nerve wracking, you know? It's a lot of. I feel you. Fiona makes it look so easy. But I think the reason it looks easy for her is because she's completely open to whatever outcome happens. You know, she's not married to any looking for something and then she's going to be disappointed. She's like, oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so here we go. We're going to take this, these two corners. I'm staying as close to the canvas as possible. And this corner now. And this corner now. Open this up and pull this one close. And I lost the other side of that one, but that's all right. I'm just gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna pick this one up. And we're gonna pick this one up. And we're gonna cross our fingers and say a quick prayer to the painting gods, and we're gonna go lift it straight up. It is kind of groovy. Maybe she calls it Fiona's groovy flower. Flower puddle. That is very pretty. I see a lot of paint in the center though. Could you spin it? I could spin it. I think we need to put a little bit of paint on the outside edge though. Just the white. I realize I'm always staring down the barrel of that thing every time you fire it off, right? <laughs> <laughs> My scaring you, honey? <laughs> I know it'll never reach me, but it's like, whoa. <laughs> do you think we should spin it, or do you think I should? Uh -huh. Spinner. Best boy needs a spinner. <laughs> These are Molly's paint stands, which are awesome. You can get them on her Etsy shop. I highly recommend them. Okay, so we're going to put just a little bit of white in the center of this. Black light glue. What does that create? Suction. Stiction. Stiction? Yes. Is that actually a word? Yes, it is. It's a word for that. <laughs> centered. Even on there. What do you think? Does it look centered to you? Uh, uh, turn it slowly. Turn this, take this down just a little bit so it's more in the middle. Mm, not bad. Take it down a 
one just a touch. I think you had the the round is in the middle. Okay. That's well, this is what it is. Okay. Are you ready, husband of Osmus? Yes, Mama. Let's give this I a lost. spin. Just nice and gentle. Decorating my toes as usual. Get out of here, bug. Wow. We spin it more we might get rid of some of this. Do we want to get rid of it or do we want to keep it because it's got that really pretty lacing in no, there? I kind of like it. it. Kind of looks almost like a floor de lis shape. Maybe just a little more to try to get the uh, those. Maybe a little even. Those tips. Just the tips. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> perpetually 11 years old. <laughs> Anything? A little bit more? That's good. One more. Gentle one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I think that's definitely the, the bottom. Just need to do a couple of little flower dip, finger dips in a few little places to make sure that we don't have any weirdness. I'm gonna do this one right here, actually. Well, how would that react to CA? No. Okay. What about a marble? No. Just go, Stop. In, go in a circle Stop. in the middle. I'm done. I don't want to do anything circle else. Circle in the middle. I like it. I like it how it is. I want to leave it like this. The only thing that I would do would be spin it more to spread this part out. But I like it how it looks right now, and I'm afraid if we spin it too much more, this is going to get weird. And it's pretty much level right now, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do a couple more little finger dippies. No man parts. You know, I don't think any of us could speak Slovenian half as well as Fiona speaks English, so. Do you like her? Her accent's cute. I love her. I love it. Yeah. I think that's one of the most relaxing things is listening to her talk. And I like it when she sings. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool, I think. Yeah? Yep. Okay. I think we're going to leave that like that. I think that's definitely the, the top over here and that's the bottom. So this is pretty cool. Should we torch it one more time? Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure if I like these. Should I touch these and kind of pull them out a little bit? Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. bringing up some of that crimson underneath. That's pretty cool. I don't know what happened. We got real wavy over there. All right. I'm going to stop messing with it and call that one done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Please make sure you check out Fiona Art if you haven't already. I'm sure most of you probably have because she's amazing and she just hit her 250,000 subscriber mark. Congratulations, Fiona. You are amazing quarter of a million and you deserve every success so this is pretty cool i will show you guys when it's dry thanks for being here with us today we'll be right back okay so this is our 18 inch round that's half inch thick and we did a fiona style puddle flower dip 
which actually this one came out really really pretty I hope you guys can see that gold blinging on there and all these beautiful colors that alizarin violet from Artie's colors let me try to focus on there beautiful and dark how it dries so pretty and like this section in here I love that with the pyro orange and that sparkling strawberry color we made really really pretty almost looks like a florida lee in the center i do kind of wish that i had tilted off some of the stuff around the edge just because that's not my favorite but i do really like the center i think it's very very pretty and um you know so that was my first one <laughs> i like it i like it a lot i like the little finger dips that i did at the end to sort of get a little bit more interest on the edges of the petals if you will it's hard to see if this is actually in focus i really hope it is let's put some very pretty lacing in there some really cute little cells so this was fun this was a lot of fun kind of a thanksgiving-y sort of color palette but very very pretty colors and that pyrrole orange is just amazing especially with the naples yellow it makes it kind of glow which is awesome so I enjoyed this one. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that tickets are on sale now for our Fluid Art Experience in Dallas on November 12th and 13th. And it's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a great, great couple of days with classes from Sarah Mack, and Kathleen Osmore, and Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, and Lee and Jeremy Massey, and myself. So be sure to check out fluidartexperience.com for your tickets today. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate your patience. Thank you all for your kind wishes towards HOA. He's doing very, very well. Um, he's started seeing a physical therapist and a home nurse has come to check on him. And I think we get our bandages taken off today, which is very exciting. <laughs> so thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.